Guys, if you want to buy a cheap, safe NBA 2K MT, go check out safenbamt.com. Enjoy instant delivery, cheap prices, and safe, secure transactions. Make sure you use code WITNESS for a 5% discount. Also, guys, if you need to go 12-0 in My Team Unlimited or you need to complete the Spotlight Series challenges, go DM DVDJ on Facebook or on Twitter. Their links are in the description and use code WITNESS again for a 10% discount. Yo, what's going on guys, Witness2K back on NBA2K20. In this video, we're gonna be getting the free pink diamond Richard Jefferson from the Jason Kidd Spotlight Series. And I wanna give you guys my tips on how you can complete these, and also some tips on how you can sort of afford these. Now, I don't have, I have all players besides the pink diamond, Hakeem Olajuwon, and I don't have enough MT4, but I'll, I'm gonna be getting it very soon. Most of these games are just win. You have to get five steals, that I think you have to get five steals twice. I'll show you guys a really easy method. It's always on rookie when you have to do it. Um, but other than that, it's normally win games. There's 25 assists. That's pretty easy. Again, it's on rookie. Uh, win game again. That one's win game. Score 45 points. That's a little bit tricky. It is on all-star, but I, would, I wouldn't I would shoot three. I would just lay it up with him. It's not that hard as well. Win the game, get 12 assists. Obviously, that's just... You, if you can get 25, you can get 12. Really easy. Yeah, these are also, they're four minute quarter, so that's easy. And I'm pretty sure the 25, yeah, the 25 assist per game, uh, for one game is six minute quarter. So that's 24 minutes. You'll get that done, no problems. Um, obviously, you can just put your favorite cards around him and just pass him. It's really easy. This one, again, get five steals. I'll show you guys an easy steal method. Win a game with, in triple threat. It's on rookie. Um, sorry, win a game and get a triple double with Jason Kidd. It's on rookie, so the points are easy, the assists are easy, and the steals again is really easy. And I'll show you that method in a minute. Win game, win game, and then it's win game for the rest. Even the final game is just win game. You just have to use the entire lineup of the Jason Kidd Spotlight Series setup. They are six minute quarters, so it's going to be pretty easy. But it also comes down to having the MT to do so. So. I sold a bunch of stuff because I did open packs. I'm not saying you guys should open packs, but I pulled a lot of duplicate sapphires, a lot of duplicate rubies, and I sold them for absolute top price that I could. I did not just quick sell them. This Jim Jackson card right here, he sells for like, you can get like 6K each for them, I'm pretty sure. So I have 37 things that I sold. I sold my DeMar DeRozan and a couple other cards as well. But you can sell that Jim Jackson for 7,500 MT. So I redeemed everything from my auction outcomes then and we have 337k. We could possibly be pulling up a little bit short. We may have to make a little bit more MT. Um, we can try placing a bid on this one, see if we can at least put a bid on it. Hopefully we can win that one maybe. We've put a bid on it, we'll see if we can get it. But a great way to make some MT is to quick sell all of your shoes. I don't have a ton, but you can make a fair bit of MT from doing this. And there's also cards like, because you don't have to lock in the set when you're finished, because I'm not going to. I sold my Pink Diamond DeMar DeRozan, but once I finish and get the, the Pink Diamond RJ, I'm going to be selling all of those cards back and then buying back my Pink Diamond DeMar DeRozan. So it's not a bad way if you guys want MT, you know, sell a card that you already have, and then you can come back and buy him after you complete the challenge. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I did with Giannis and it's honestly a great way. So I'm going to keep quick selling shoes. Hopefully I don't get a bid on that, but we'll see. What you can also do is go to your injury cards and if you collect, I mean you can quick sell these, but if you collect a stack of 20, send the entire stack to the auction and then you can quick sell it from there for like, these don't sell for a ton, but if you've got a lot of them saved up, send the entire stacks to the auction and then just and then just quick sell them. That's what I do. And you can make a little bit of MT from it. It's not too bad. You can't make a ton. I did it, I did do it recently. We got a few that are close to hitting that mark, but if you go over to auction house now, you see these right here and you can just sell them. So that's a quick 1K MT without any tax taken off us at all. So we made a quick 2K just from doing that. So we did get outbidded on that Hakeem, but I'm gonna keep going, make some more MT and we will buy one. All right guys, so I've sold some things and I now have over 400K MT, so that should be enough 
to now finally buy this Hakeem Olajuwon. I sold some things like, you know, the bronze nets playbook that sells for seven grand. I sold some Christmas ornament balls. I sold my Amethyst, Dwayne, uh, uh, Dan Antonio coach and Terry Stotts. They sell for like 20K each. So I just sold some things that I didn't need. I did quick sell some shoes as well. So that should now push me over the limit. Someone had bid on this, but we're able to place another bid on him straight away. 10 seconds roughly to go and we should be able to pick up this Hakeem and we'll be able to finish the final game to get the free pink diamond. Someone placed another bid. This is selling for way much more than what it should, but I don't care. I just want to get this card so I can finally get my Richard Jefferson. Grab it at auction. Out comes and we have one in. We're going to add Hakeem to the lineup now. So this is the lineup. We're going to replace D-Rob with Hakeem. We have the lineup. So the tips for making some MT guys, sell your shoes sell things that you don't need. Hypothetically, if you've got a card like Pink Diamond T-Mac, you could just sell him, buy this set, get RJ, don't lock the set in, and then sell all the players back and then buy your T-Mac back. That's what I would recommend if you're having trouble getting the MT to complete the set. So we now have everyone so we can finish the last game. And I'll show you guys some tips in, the, in this last game, sort of. You don't need to get steals or anything, you just need to win the game. But I'll show you guys some tips on how you can get some steals with uh, Jason Jason Kidd. I forgot his name for a minute. But all we have to do is win the game. So it's pretty easy. We've got the entire lineup. So we're going to jump into this game. And I'll show you guys a couple quick tricks. All right. Jump ball time. Hakeem, we go. We win it. So we're going to have to just score to start it off with. Obviously, when it comes to scoring, you know, you just do the best you can to just do whatever. That's a bad shot, but I don't really care. For the steals... It's going to make it a bit hard there. Good D on MJ. Grab that rebound. Throw it up to Kid. And we don't have to score a certain amount of points. Oh, I'm putting up some bad shots. We're going to go to the free throw line though. So we made one of two free throws. And the best way to get steals, this isn't on rookie, so it's a bit harder, is when they're coming up the court, is just to try and run past them and knock it out of their hands. So to make it sort of... Just that cheesy sort of animation where you can just sort of run past them. I don't recommend just spamming square when they're dribbling it in front of you. All right, so we're going to try it again here. Isn't so there dribbling past? They will spin quite often. Spinning is something that they always seem to do. But at times like this, I don't recommend just spamming square. That was the CPU that reached then. But if you spam square, you could possibly foul out Jason Kidd. So MJ's taking this one up. Let's see if we can knock it out of his hand. Like I said, it is harder because of, you know, this is on Superstar, whatever the difficulty is. Normally, whenever they ask you to get steals, it's only on rookie, so it's a lot easier. So luckily, you don't have to get any steals in this final game. So we're going to try and get a steal on Gary Payton as he's running up, just like that. We weren't able to get the steal, but that's the best way to get steals. And when it's on rookie, it is so much easier, especially when you have to get the triple-double because it's really hard to get rebounds with Jason Kidd. You can get the points, the assists, and the steals by doing it that method. All right, guys, so we're a minute and a half got, we got a minute and a half left in this game. I did have about a 10 point lead for most of the game, but this dude, their CPU just started coming back in the final like minute, but it should be all good. The end's good slam. Um, another tip that I want to give you as well, just remember you're versing the CPU, so on defense, just be Hakeem or whoever your center is at the time. And just off ball, you know, it's, it's not worth playing defense. Just let the CPU take care of it. We got an eight point lead with about a minute to go, so we should be able to catch this dub no problems. And because we get a nice shot there, because he has Matumbo, the CPU has Matumbo, you can leave him unguarded by the three point line. So you can double team when their big man goes inside. Kid, no draw foul, we get the rebound though. Pull the midi. This Hakeem struggles with mid range shot. He's not bad from three. But the mid-range thing is pretty bad. He's going to get a shot with Kawhi. Why does he have to come back like this? I'm going to just waste time for these last couple shots. So my opponent came. So the CPU came back to make it a two-point lead. We're going to be able to shoot free throws, though. I'm going to have Vince Carter to shoot him. So we should be all good. I know we're going to do, we might get Rex, Rex Chapman to shoot him. He's got a good free throw. So we should be able to knock these down and just take the win. So we catch the dub in this game right now, which means we're going to be able to get our free pink diamond, Richard Jefferson. That game, it was pretty easy until literally the last couple of minutes, the CPU just starts coming back. I don't know if it's going to be that for everyone. Hopefully not. I think that was just my luck. You know, it just, that just happened. But um, it doesn't seem too hard. 
you know, one thing I do recommend is putting, after playing the game, is put Jason Terry on the bench because Jason Kidd is the only point guard that you can use, so and, and Jason Terry. So if you start them both, you're not gonna be able to have a backup point guard. So put Jason Terry on the bench and run like Rex Chapman as your shooting guard, your starting shooting guard. That's what worked for me because um my Jason Terry got really tired because yeah, he had to play all of the like the whole game really. So that's what I recommend doing. We're gonna get 1700 MT right there, which is awesome. And right here, we are gonna be getting our pink diamond Richard Jefferson. Make sure to drop a like right now and subscribe to the channel if you are new. Also, comment below if you got this card, if you grinded out the spotlight challenges. I think this is gonna be really worth it. The Amethyst Richard Jefferson was really nice, so this pink diamond is gonna be awesome. I can't really remember his stats. I know he can shoot. I know he's got some nice badges, but we're going to check him out again. So I've now done Giannis, and I have done Richard Jefferson. That mystery player is Brandon Roy. I don't know if I'm going to... I'm, I may go for Blake and Rick Barry. I don't know. I just don't know if it'll be worth it, but we got Richard Jefferson right here. He can play small forward and power forward. I would never run his card at power forward. I do not think that would mix very well. I'd, I'd run him at um, small forward. He's a 97 overall pink diamond, 99 offense, 98 on defense, 6 foot 7, which is a really good height. He has a driving lap of a 96, post phase with an 82, shot close 97, mid range 92, 3 point shot 93, plus a Steve Kerr coach boots, boost. Free throw is a 90, driving dunk 98, which is crazy. He's got a 92 in the steal, perimeter defense 88, interior 84. Offensive rebounding, 78. Defensive, 82. Isn't too bad. Speed's a 95. Speed with ball, 88. 17 Hall of Fame badges and 28 gold. Catch and shoot corner special. Tyler shooter. Slippery off ball. He's got a quick draw in the Hall of Fame, which is awesome. Pump bag, rentless finisher. Green machine, awesome. Downhill, awesome. Clamps, great. And in the gold, I can't really remember these. I hope he has range extender. Come on, and dead eye, hopefully. Go right, range extender. There we go. Volume shooter. He does not have dead eye, but that's okay. This card looks absolutely sick. I'm so glad to finally pick him up, and I cannot wait to try him out. But that is going to wrap up this video, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. I'm going to go through again just quickly, just the challenges. It's win the game easy and score during these games. I recommend try. Like, I've got my Jason kit up to an amethyst just from playing these challenges. Keep using him as much as you possibly can. Um, and then it's got this one right here. Win game, get five steals. Again, do that method when they're coming, when they first inbound it and they're just walking up the court, run over and just try and tap it out. Doing that five times is really easy. Doing it 10 times is really easy as well when you have to get a triple double with him. Um, this one right here, 25 assist. All you need is Jason Kidd and Jim Jackson in your lineup. You can fill your lineup with Opals, Pink Diamonds, it doesn't matter in its own rookie. So you can pass it to someone like Tracy McGrady or DeMar DeRozan and they were just green threes like it's nothing. Um, win the game, win the game. 45 points. That is a little bit tricky. It's on all-star, but it is possible. Just keep calling your screens and things like that. I don't worry about, I didn't worry about a playbook during these challenges. I just played getting screens and things like that. I didn't find it very difficult at all. 12 assists, same method. It's on it's on All-Star, but it's only 12 assists, which is pretty easy. And there is the... Actually, one thing I do have to also say, guys. Number four. you ha It says just win the game, but you have to get... Might be five, actually. Yeah. Challenge number five. It says win conditions, win the game. You actually have to get a double-double with Jason Kidd. It says it down below. You want to make sure you get a double-double with Jason Kidd in that game, or you will not be rewarded that win. So make sure you do that. And then it's got to get five steals again. Triple double with Jason Kidd. Points, assist, and steals. And you guys are going to be fine, honestly. I found this easier than the Giannis one. The Giannis one was harder, in my opinion, being Kareem. But, you know, obviously it comes down to if you're better than better with bigs or guards or whatever. But I hope this does help you out, guys. Again, drop a like right now and subscribe to the channel if you are new. And I will catch you all in the next upload. It's been witnessed. Hey,